active, organized non-payment. That's the only way that we're going to win. We have to convince as many people as possible to refuse to pay these water charges. And we have to know that the scaremongering, the fear, the intimidation, the attacks by the state are only going to increase while the bills are coming out. Because we all know this is not about 160 euro or 260 euro. It's not about a charge that will raise less than 100 million euros for this state this year or next year. It's about an agenda of austerity. It's about an agenda of privatization of our water services and an agenda of regressive taxation, shifting the burden onto working class people, preparing for the bills in 2019, whether it'll be 200 euro per adult per household. So it's about much more than just the water charges, and that's why they're going to attack our movement in such a way. So we have to prepare to really organize for non-payment. It's the most important thing we do now. Everything we do has to be geared strategically to encouraging people not to pay. Because at the moment, according to the latest opinion polls, four in 10 people say that they intend to pay the water charges. Three in 10 said they intend not to pay the water charges. And the rest say, I don't know, or it depends. And what does it depend upon? It depends upon us. It depends on the actions that we take in the next two months to convince people not to pay. It depends on whether all the propaganda in the media and the nice leaflets and everything they get from the government and from Irish Water, it depends on whether that's countered. Whether that's countered by a movement from below that has window posters like these in every house or most houses on different estates so when people go home they know that the anti-water charges, the non-payment movement is present in their community. It depends on where if they go to the shops on a Saturday that there's somebody there with a petition, with leaflets, chatting with people, giving people the key reasons why they shouldn't pay. It depends on whether, when the bills drop, whether the campaign locally knocks on their door and says, these are the key reasons why you shouldn't pay, these are the key reasons why you shouldn't be scared. And the key message I think the most important message we have for people out there is a message is that you'd be mad to pay. If you pay, you're taking a risk. The risk you're taking is the charge will be abolished and you won't get your money back. If you don't pay, if you don't pay, if you don't pay, you're taking no risks at all. Zero. There are no penalties for non-payment of the water charges until July of 2016, after the next general election. So people should join the boycott, we should get that message out, safe in the knowledge that if we build a big boycott, this will be the issue in the general election early next year, or before that if we manage to bring the government down through the scale of the boycott, and then any government that comes in will be under massive pressure to get rid of the water charges. And don't be fooled. Don't listen to the people who say you have to wait for the elections to have a movement against water charges, and that's how they get rid of the water charges. If people pay the water charges in their vast number, then no matter what government comes in, I don't think they get rid of the water charges. And if people don't pay the water charges, then almost no matter what government comes in, we can get rid of the water charges. So non-payment is absolutely crucial. And so just to, to bring that to a point of action is that we want people to sign up for the We Won't Pay campaign which is specifically arguing for non-payment. We want people to organise this leaflet somewhere about on the table over there for a non-payment protest, a Bin Your Bills protest, a national demonstration on the 18th of April. I think a hundred groups have signed up for that protest so far. If your group hasn't, they should, and you should advocate that people uh, get involved. We have to build for that move, massive movement of non-payment, encourage people to bend their bills. The last point is obviously the point that we agree with Enda Kenny on, that uh, this is not just about water charges.